Alright, so what is going on everyone? Swan here and today we have something pretty cool. We are at 12 or we're at 11 wins. We're at 11 and 1 and we're going for the 12 win reward uh, as you can tell in the last video if you missed it. Um, it was for when I was 8 and 1 and I got the 9 win reward which was Bruce Suter uh, 95 overall hardware legend 1979 uh, legend flashback or throwback and uh, now we can get this 98 overall hardware legend to the year of 2000 uh, Jason Giambi so that's pretty cool and I want to show you something before we actually like get into the game so I didn't realize how good of a team I really drafted for myself uh, hitting wise like okay so Travis Shaw right now I'm batting 500 with him I'm 15 for 30 only one home run but uh, still Pretty cool. Got nine RBIs and everything. He's batting leadoff. Paul Goldschmidt, this 97 overall. I have, uh, for career, batted 339 with him. I have 184 hits and 40 home runs, so that's pretty good. Slugging, 638. Uh, this new Aaron Judge card is my worst hitting card, actually, so far, but it also has probably my least, uh, possibly my least amount of at-bats. I'm batting 294 with five hits and two home runs, bat or slugging 647 with only four RBIs. Uh, we got Chris Coughlin, who is uh, batting 529. Troy Tulowitzki batting 391. Neil Walker batting 432. Matt Kemp batting. Oh shoot, hold on. Matt Kemp batting 429 and Manny Peanut, this catcher. Uh, Live Series Bronze 73 overall is batting 571 with 8 hits, 2 home runs, 6 RBIs, and a 1,143 slugging percentage. That is crazy. So we're going to hop into a game and see if we can win and get this uh, 12 win reward. So that would be pretty cool. And where should we play? Should we play... Um, I guess let's go. Let's go at Texas Rangers. Really random park, but uh, let's see if we can get a game here. Anyways, let's yeah, let's hop into a game and see if we can do something special here. All right, it looks like we finally found a game. It took a while to actually find someone uh, at this ranking. So let's see who we get. Please, I just don't want it to be too good of pitchers. And it doesn't look like it's going to be. Okay, they, it looks like they're going to actually not have great pitches at all. But they got Michael Brantley hitting leadoff. We're playing at my park, so we're playing at the Rangers park. David Wright, a little throwback. Hardware, maybe? Maybe rookie, actually? Actually, it might be rookie. I don't know. Uh, Will Clark, 97 Tulowitzki. That's scary. That Posada, I always have a hard time pitching against. I don't know why. Everyone always gets hit, and then I miss the rest. I think there was a Dante Bichette. I don't know, it looks like a pretty good hitting squad. A really good hitting squad. So, uh, we're playing the Ford Florida State Seminoles. Uh, someone's probably from Florida in there, or he's at going to college there. But, uh, that's key, having a nice lefty uh, pitching on the mound against Brantley. Then I'm probably going to toss in someone right away after this. I'm just going to toss in uh, this guy right there, yeah. And then let's warm up Jerry Blevins. And let's see if we can uh, make something out of this. Hopefully, we can. This is going to have me nervous. I really want to... Wow, that was way off. Uh, I really want to win this game because that would be nice to have like a quick... M another 80k or so. I don't know. A lot of a lot of stuff. 90k? 90k? I don't know how much Giambi's worth. I have... I, well, I know he's like around 90k probably. And I know that... Um... Well, yeah, he was like 90k last time I got him, but I don't know how much uh, Bruce Suter is at all. No, absolutely no idea. So, he's probably only like 15k, 10k, I'm not sure. I don't think he's usable. I wouldn't probably use him, but uh, it'd be cool to get him. And he just demolished that ball with David Wright, but it was inside. And I'm, I think I'm going to go a low change up and see if I can get him with this, because that would be key. And we did. Oh shoot, okay, gotta make, gotta make the throw, there we go, now we got Will Clark up, and we gotta, we gotta keep him to 
no runs in the first. That's key. That's why I don't really like being the home team all that much because it is a little bit scary uh, if you do let them get off to a lead. So let's toss a little change up down there. Uh, got him with that. Let's go slider down at his back foot. And we got him to ground out. Didn't get it enough inside really to strike him out or anything. But that's a huge start. And I think it's a righty pitcher that he's starting. I hope it is. And it is. Okay, good. And I'm actually going to warm up uh, 89 overall, Darren O'Day. He has a 4-5 ERA, which is rough. 500 batting average with lefties and 300 batting average versus righties. But this, uh, this Blevins card, guys are hitting under 100. I think from lefty, the lefty standpoint, it's pretty crazy. So anyways, now we got Shaw, and that was really tempting. I really I really wanted to hit that the other way right there. But we got to be patient this game. We, oh my gosh, I could have drilled that. Not, I can't be that patient. That was just right down the pipe, basically. A little bit low and outside. But not a whole lot. I probably could have still pulled that for a home run. And Goldschmidt skies it. And it's deep. But it's only to the warning track. That makes me mad. But now we got Aaron Judge up who's got 99 power versus righties. And he still has a starting pitcher in. So this could be a huge point of the game. And that could be out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Let's go. Aaron Judge comes through with an oppo home run. That's huge. That is the start I needed. I I swear, if I score in the first inning, that's when I feel most confident with pitching. And I can just go out there and just hopefully keep people to that just uh, no run. So now we have another runner on base, Coglin. I'm telling you, this team... It's a sleeper sleeper pick. Like, I liked it when I drafted it, but I really didn't like it that much. And now we got two low up with a lot of power versus lefties, I believe. And this could be a little bit scary for him if he keeps this pitcher in. I'm actually going to check out who's in his bullpen. Um, he doesn't have really a bullpen. He has that cam guy that I have. He has Addison Reed, which I don't think Addison Reed is that great of a pitcher. Uh, at least to use in the game. He's a good pitcher. He's a great pitcher. I, I don't know. I, I, that came out wrong. But, um, and then he has two bronzes and two commons. So, let's see what he decides to do. I, I'm i not surprised that he did that. He put in a righty. So, he's used one, he's using one of his, uh, one of his weapons on the mound. And Tulo drills it into the gap and that could score him. Please hustle around third. I need it. Oh yeah, he's gonna make it easy. There we go. Too low. Hits it first pitch off the new pitcher. Drills it into the gap. This is huge. I needed this. I really needed this. I haven't had 12 wins in like a month or so. And um, okay, I tried to check swing there. I almost swung though. Um, but yeah, I haven't really been getting to 12 wins very often. Neil Walker is definitely just gonna pop up with that. But. That's a huge start. We have already pitched to him one time, so we only have to uh, put six people down now. And we got two low up. And should I put in O'Day? I don't think so, to be honest, because I struggle with him. I really do. And uh, he's waiting on that. Um, he's waiting on a fastball to be in. But I'm gonna go a little fastball away, a little bit too away, but. Okay, let's go slider up high. Nope, not gonna work. That's fine. Let's go. Let's go another four seam out there, and he's gonna ground out to Tulo. Tulo to Tulo. Gotta love it. Except his Tulo is a lot better. Not gonna lie. I would love to have that Tulo card. I'd probably try using it over, um, over my Cal Ripken card. I think it would be pretty fun to use, but I'm actually gonna toss in Jerry Blevins at this point because I need to be smart with who I use since I have the lead and uh, I just don't want to risk this. There's a nice, there's a perfect cutter. There we go, and that's just gonna be Travis Shaw, I believe, at third. Um, Picking that up and let's go a high sinker. This spot is filthy. It wasn't a very good pitch, but it worked. Let's go. Okay, let's go a little change up. I'm so hyped right now. Uh, got him with that and let's go cutter inside. 
See if that that might do it again, dude. I got him again, but Tulo's got to make that play, and he does because it's freaking Tulo. You could have the live series Tulo, and he'd make that play. But here we go. We're back to hitting, and I'm actually gonna check who he has up next. Okay, so I'm gonna keep. Oh, he conceded. No way. I'm gonna take that because I don't want to risk it. I don't know why. He's probably a high ranking. Maybe he's not, but we did it. We got 12 wins. Finally, we did it again. And Judge came through with a freaking oppo home run on a righty. He just pitched it to the outside. I don't. I don't know if it was a fastball. I don't know what it was, but he drilled it, and we got our 12 wins. And we got to check out how much these people actually cost because I literally could buy with probably my rewards from this I could probably buy another hundred set pack and just have 200 packs sitting there which is crazy to think about but uh, as you can tell those are the rewards we got Jason Giambi, Bruce Suter, uh, Breakout Coco Crisp, Joe Ross and then a pack so uh, yeah let's go look at this let's actually open up this pack see I have this hundred set right here I'm not gonna open it right now but let's open up this uh, this little standard pack. And it looks like we got Adam Duvall and that's it. And now we got to check out, this is my second time getting Giambi. And here, let's go. First base. Uh, hardware. And Jason Gia. Okay, he's gone down in price since I last got him. But it's still a decent amount. And I'm actually going to put him up for uh, seven four seven four nine nine six. Let's go with that, and then so we're the top one right there. Oh well, we could have done seven five, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Now let's go to. Is he a closer? I think he might be a closer, and he he is. Okay, he's fifteen k. Okay, that's what I thought he would be, and that's actually a good amount. I don't know what his stats look like. He looks pretty decent. But I don't think I want to use him, to be honest. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a like if you guys did enjoy. That was a pretty good, solid uh, win right there with him quitting and everything. So, anyways, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. And that's going to be it for me today. So, as always, I hope you're all having a nice day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.